What's going on there, guys? Missy Mimi's here jumping in on this beautiful Sunday morning, about 11.02 a.m. West Coast time, May 16th, 2021. Uh, taking a look here, we had a right off the coast of Oregon. There was a, it was a 3.2, but it has been upgraded now to a 4.1, about 7.57 a.m. this morning. Uh, 10 kilometers deep right at the corner there of the uh, the uh, Blanco fracture zone as it comes into the Gorda Ridge so uh, yeah it with what's going on in Japan honestly it's still not enough you guys still not enough I still believe there is a larger quake coming um, there were only a handful of aftershocks with that six uh, also downgraded to a 5.7 last night uh, let's see and then we had a 3.0 also at the very southern end of the uh, Cascadia subduction zone there it kind of lines up there with the uh, the tremor going on last night um, not a lot not a lot going on um, that was about 17.5 kilometers and that one happened I believe close to like an hour prior to uh, sorry there was some weird noise I was like what in the world too early for spooky stuff here <laughs> too early yeah so uh, the 4.0 was happened after that 3.0 that one was about 626 a.m. Uh, got some, still have some swarms going on over here in the geysers area, just below Clear Lake there. The, let's see if I can say this correctly, the Kal Kalayami Fault Zone. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, that's just what, that is just east of Cloverdale there. So a lot of swarms still going on there. Uh, had a little microquake up in Chester. Some microquakes happening around here. Still, still a little bit of a. I believe this is still a, some act, aftershock activity uh, from that. Um, it came in. At, everyone was saying it came in at a six. Then it was a five. Then it was a four. So, I mean, who knows? <laughs> who knows what it was? Um, honestly, it was, it was bouncing all over the place. But other, otherwise, there's still some, some activity going on out here above Lake Tahoe, uh, near the, uh, just near Truckee. So, let's see. Some movement off the, or just right on the coast there. On the uh, San Gregorio uh, fault zone. Just microquake activity. Some more here, San Jose. This is on the Calaveras Fault Zone. Not that far though from the San Andreas, and then we <laughs> had some uh, some microquake activity on the creeping section, and then more microquake activity down here, just off the like kind of off the the uh, Plato Fault Zone area. So. Uh, let's see. Ridgecrest still moving. Some, uh, believe aftershock activity still going on out here. It kind of dies down, then it picks back up. It just depends on, you know, the pressure out here and the movement. Uh, still got some microquake swarming activity going on out here near the Elsinore Fault System and the San Jacinto area and just off the southern end of the San Andreas and then down here below Salton Sea on the sand also on the San Jacinto Fault Zone like the east is the eastern uh, section of it but uh, in the Brawley Seismic Zone so yeah some interesting movement the, the past uh, 24 hours but we aren't done I don't believe so we're still on target guys alrighty still got some aftershock activity out here 
uh, in Mena, California, or uh, Nevada, excuse me, uh, just near Tonopah after that large uh, quake that happened out here uh, last year. So I believe, it, yeah, it was last year. Earthmaster was out there investigating. So not a lot going on in the Cascadias. Very quiet. Very quiet. Other than this 4.0 and then the 3.0 at the southern end here. Uh, it's it's very quiet, you guys. Um, Idaho is still swarming at salt sawtooth fault zone, um, and then just a few uh, little quakes out here. Yellowstone's pretty quiet, also. So Hawaii still seeing some some activity, still watching it. If I, if I remember correctly, Mauna Loa is, I believe, ye like in the yellow and uh, let's see, yeah, still not a lot going on up here. Most of the activity really is down here, still in the southern edge here. So, some, uh, just a couple quakes around here. They kind of move up, see, as you can see, they move up over here, out to towards the Mountain View, Hawaii uh, area. And then sometimes they come up out here, and so on and so forth. But otherwise, it's mostly mostly down here in this section so we're still keeping an eye on it let's see here and then Japan Ooh, so what is this 4.7 in Iran 32.9 kilometers pretty it's deep some movement out here in Greece in Turkey 4.9 a lot of a lot of this is activity from yesterday. Um, Four point one in Zimbabwe. Uh, that's new. Just outside of a what looks like Johannesburg in Pretoria. All right, let's see here. Papua New Guinea's been getting some activity. Uh, there were two fives that took place out here. You see, there was a five, and then a four, and then a five point three, and the four point nine. So, um, let's see. It looks like right here. Yeah, it looks like this may have been a slight little four shock, and then a five point three, and then an aftershock there. But I mean, it's not. Nothing huge, nothing major. There's not a lot of movement out here still on the uh, western part of the Pacific North, uh, the Pacific Plate. Um, let's see, Kermadec Islands and Tonga, seeing both seeing a 4.7 yesterday and then today. 10 kilometers. And that one was really deep, 165.2 kilometers. But overall, pretty quiet. That's all. That's the uh, one day all magnitudes. We're just gonna put on the uh, 2.5 plus, and as you can see, not a whole lot going on on this side. Even you know with the all magnitudes, there were uh, like I said a handful of aftershocks with that 5.7, a uh, a 4.1, 4.4, and a 4.3. There all extremely uh well wait let me see no shallow 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 and then that one was slightly deep but not not much not a lot not a lot going on and then we had a 4.4 just north of that um 35 point 35 kilometers that's it <laughs> and then a uh, 4.5 outside of uh, t uh, Nami Japan so and then just a little more movement 4.7 out here so yeah 
It's still not a lot. Still not enough, in my opinion. Honestly. There's still no relief for the West Coast. So, because, like, as you can see, it's still moving quite a bit. We should have seen a little bit of relief, but we a we actually, we haven't. With that 6, we had a 6.8, a 6.0, 5.7. I mean, just back to back over the last couple weeks. And then the uh, the four is popping off. But other than that, still nothing. I still believe there is something larger, 7.0 or above building out here. Um, yeah, there was a handful of aftershocks compared to others, but still not near what you would see um, in a large quake um, when pressure is relieved. Uh, like, for example, there was that, that uh, I believe it was a seven out here. Um, a few months ago, and it's still seen in the vicinity aftershock activity here in Alaska. So, I mean, this, for the most part, is is just uh, av like average earthquake activity, but in the vicinity alone to that earthquake, uh, you're still seeing aftershocks. And same in Ridgecrest, same in, in outside of Tonopah. You know, when you see large, larger quakes, you should be, there should be aftershocks associated with it. And even for a decent amount of time, even, even in Tahoe, that, that, um, one we seen there still seeing activity there. So, but here it pops off and then a couple, couple aftershocks and sometimes none at all. And then again, quiet for a few days and then fours pop off. So there's still something building here. So we're keeping an eye on it. Definitely keeping an eye on it. Um, New Zealand is the only, the only activity out here in the Kermadec Islands is a 4.7. May still see some activity. Uh, may pick up here. Um, like I said, this whole area is just quiet. So... So, I mean, we still could see some larger, deeper movement out here in the uh, New Zealand area, um, which is very common. It's very, very common in this area. So, I mean, if you're to, I might be able to bring it up here. Yeah, see, so, I mean, this is just to the north. But as you can see, when you really, who look at that. It's because this is a uh, subduction zone. So, but yeah, it's not, it's not um, uncommon for a lot of deep activity out here. Even into this area of the New Zealand area and outside of Auckland. So, I mean... It's not uncommon, but I, I can guarantee that soon we should see s some, uh, some also some larger, deeper movement out here as well. So other than that, you guys, let's see. This was yesterday. 4.2 outside of El Bajijo, uh, Mexico. Pretty sure I said that correctly. <laughs> See, still seeing some, some, a little bit of activity, some swarming out here in uh, outside of Puerto Rico in the Dominican Republic. Four point four in Pedro Blanca. But other than that, you guys, it's not a whole lot going on. Peru. In Chile, I've been seeing some movement along this, uh, the Chile, uh, Peru. Um, uh, trench, excuse me, the Chile Trench. So, sorry, I thought, I thought my daughter was up. I gotta do this before she gets up or she's gonna wanna jump in and help <laughs> my four-year-old. Oh, yeah. Which I wouldn't mind, but she may not let me finish. 
Okay, so yeah, a lot of fours popping off over here in the uh, Argentina area as well. So some movement out here. This area is also not uh, uncommon for very large quakes as well. Also a uh, subduction zone here. So as you can see, it's definitely not uncommon. So other than that, you guys, there's not a whole lot going on. Yes, uh, Japan moved yesterday and uh but it's it's not done i it, it's definitely not done for sure still expecting a extremely a lot larger quake um california west coast is still on target um as i was saying the cascadia very very quiet tremor um tremors at 50 was at 50 yesterday um compared to the last few days Prior to that, it had dropped significantly from 277 epicenters kind of uh, down here below uh, Oregon into Northern California, Trinity County. And then the day before that, um, it was a little more north, but as you can see, it was moving south. Uh, it was up above Portland. Now it's more down here near Medford in that area. And then now yesterday just boom dropped off to 50 but it hasn't disappeared so um it hasn't gone quiet but with this activity and then you know here at the very southern end end here um we had some a little quake and then another up here so you know i guess we will find out tonight um we will check the tremor tonight and see if it has increased or dropped off more but we're we definitely don't aren't seeing any pressure relief so we're gonna keep an eye on that as well so that's I think that's all I've got for you guys this morning but Earthmaster will jump on later if uh, anything if anything larger happens or anything significant otherwise everybody have a wonderful day have a wonderful sunday good morning good evening wherever you guys are watching from and have a wonderful day stay safe out there peace out